えクルーズ All right, guys. All but kind here.、Um, shooting guard captain of the Team Allegiance NBA 2K team.、Uh, today, I'm going to bring you a quick overview of what comes in the Scuff Gamer Bundle and then a quick review of the controller. This is my controller.、Um, I picked the color scheme myself. They have a lot of presets you can choose from that are really cool,、um, or you can just kind of customize what you want yours to look like. Um, I stuck with an Allegiance theme myself, but you can go crazy, right? The braided USB cable、um, gets you out of the world of batteries if you're you know, from the Stone Age. I guess you wouldn't really be from the Stone Age if you used batteries. Those are more modern than wires, right? I don't know. I prefer the USB cables. Next thing that I'm a huge fan of,、uh, used it before the Gamer Bundle, will continue using it、um, for a very long time,、uh, is Gamer Grip. Um, I'm a bit OCD about my controllers, so I wash my hands every time before I play. Even if I haven't been doing anything, I just I feel like there's a difference in the way my controller feels after I've washed my hands, and there is if I haven't. I'm, I don't know, I'm weird.、Um, tell me if you think I'm crazy or, or you know what I'm talking about.、Um, but even at tournaments, I would go and I would wash my hands right before my match. And in game sessions, I'll probably wash my hands a couple times during a session、um, to keep that feeling. But with Gamer Grip,、um, so the whole point, right, is to prevent your hands from sweating. But if you, if you know what I'm talking about with that feeling of、uh, clean hands and a controller, if you put some, just a dab of this stuff on, rub it in after you wash your hands or after your hands are clean, it keeps that feeling like the entire time you're gaming. Um, which I love. It keeps that really good feeling of the controller in your hand.、Um, so I'm a real big fan of that stuff, have been for a long time. The next thing they sent you is the different length joysticks. So the, I mean, they were sent you replacement joysticks and allow you to change the length if you want.、Uh, I stick with the regular ones myself. I know a lot of people really like the longer ones.、Um, so they send you those if you want them. Next thing. Is the hard shell case. I know, I, I mean, again, I'm OCD about my controllers, so I really like that I have this for when I travel to tournaments or lands or friends' houses or whatever. As, for those that have been around since like Halo 3 Reach, you'll remember seeing a lot of people like take super good care of their controllers because of the, how rare it was to find one. They didn't have slow turn. And the one that comes to mind is、uh, when Crim6 played Halo. I don't know if you guys remember him putting us controllers in like Ziploc baggies before he would put them away. So it's just kind of nice to have something like that rather than a Ziploc baggie. So for the controller itself,、um, so I, the paddles on the back,、um, I know there are other options out there where they're in different places down here, right?、Um, I really like. Where these paddles are. One, for two reasons. One, how I hold my controller, my fingers sit, my middle finger sits right on the paddle. So if I want to use them, they're right there. Two, them not being down here prevents me from accidentally hitting a button or a paddle、um, by squeezing the controller too hard or gripping it in the wrong spot.、Um, so I just feel like this is a little bit more convenient than, than other options out there. Two, the joysticks. Um, are a different, I mean, they're obviously still rubber, but they just they feel different than the normal Xbox ones. The tension is still the same, so your sensitivity is all gonna you know, work out fine. But they're just, they're, it's a lot easier to grip onto them when you're playing. And for someone like me, who when I play, my, my thumbs are more on the edge of the joystick than actually on the joystick. I don't run the risk. Them being easier to grip means there's less of a chance of my thumb just slipping off、um, than a normal Xbox joystick, which has happened to me before. And every time I use a normal Xbox controller, I run that risk. So it just it hasn't happened yet on this. And I want to say that is because of the difference in, in grip on the joysticks and these being easier to hold on to. The last thing that I really like about the controller is the, are the grips on the back.、Um, They're, they're contoured right to your hand, which I, I mean, it's a small detail, but I, I really, really like it. 
and it also has the trigger stops built in um, to the grip um, which means that where'd it go you get this in the gamers bundle this is these are replacements for your grips um, that have the trigger stops built in um, in this you have one set that has the trigger stops built in you have another set that doesn't have the trigger stops if for some reason you don't want them i think you're crazy if you don't but um that you have that option i really like that the trigger stops adjustable and like you can change the length of the pool i'm a big fan the one thing i really wanted to touch on though and it's kind of why I, I i breezed through the rest of that real quick um every obviously everyone understands why you would want the paddles for a shooter like halo or call of duty or or anything like that it's so you don't have to stop aiming to hit the buttons yeah. everybody gets that i play 2k right what what good will the paddles do a 2k player so i used the controller for a couple weeks before i did this review because i wanted to be able to answer that question here's what i can say um all in 2k specifically so all your dribble moves are associated to your right joystick the right trigger for the modifier and then you can chain together and stuff like that um but all your dribble moves are your right joystick 2k players run into the same problem that halo players do in a sense where like if you want to make a pass which are all you know the different types of passes are your buttons and if you have your hot key up it's the different players um if you want to make the pass you have to take your thumb off the joystick which stops you um in the middle of a dribble move or whatever if you want to shoot the ball you have to take your thumb off your joystick which stops you while in a dribble move whatever you're doing what i found is that having the paddles allows you to get that shot off of that pass immediately after your dribble move um especially if you're chaining dribble moves together um I, I don't just people don't expect it to come off as quickly as you can get it i found a legitimate use for the paddles in 2k i really have um they've come in handy quite a few times and, and they work great so just as just as important and just as useful as they are in shooters i have found them to be in 2k um so for any 2k players watching this uh, i'm telling you now the paddles you want them uh, that'll wrap it up for me thank you guys so much for watching um and i'll see you guys later